Concerns are mounting tonight in Plaquemines Parish where officials are becoming increasingly worried about sea life kills in waters previously impacted by the oil spill. There were two major fish kills last week and yesterday a dead whale was discovered and brought in for testing. So what's causing the die-off? Maya Rodriguez has that story. It's been a rough summer in some of the waters around Plaquemines Parish. First hit by the oil spill, now hit with fish kills. This is an extremely large fish kill, and there's many species in there. It's not just one uh, group of fish. It's redfish and trout and flounder. Uh, all species have been identified in this fish, fish kill. Plaquemines Parish officials spotted this massive fish kill on Friday. Hundreds of thousands of dead fish just west of the Mississippi in Bayou Chaland. It came several days after the discovery of a starfish kill in nearby Barataria Bay. And then on Monday, they found this, a dead baby whale. Whether any of those incidents are related to the oil spill, though, remains a big question. One thing that local officials say could lead to some answers is more testing. We're talking about the long-term testing of the quality of the water, the fish, and, and the environment. And we don't see a collective group really wanting to know what's going on, and we need to demand that happens. The State Department of Wildlife and Fisheries sent biologists to Friday's fish kill to try and determine what may have caused it. They declined to do an on-camera interview, but in a statement to Eyewitness News, a spokesperson said, quote, it was the result of low levels of dissolved oxygen. This particular body of water becomes isolated during periods of low tide. Low tide kept the fish trapped in the body of water without access to the gulf, limiting the available dissolved oxygen and killing the fish. Spray on. Still, concerns abound not just about oil, but also what impact oil spill dispersants like Corexit may have had on the environment. Nearly two million gallons of it were sprayed over the Gulf and underwater at the site of the broken wellhead. Here we are trying to get our fishing back, trying to get our seafood back, and uh, with these kind of fish kills, uh, it'll have a lasting effect if we don't do something about it. In the meantime, the parish has asked two federal agencies, the EPA and NOAA, to investigate the fish kills. In Plaquemines Parish, Maya Rodriguez, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. As for the dead baby whale, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is currently storing it in a freezer. They're now in discussions with NOAA and the Audubon Institute about who will conduct the necropsy to determine the cause of death. After more than a year in an Iranian prison, an American woman is now free. More on that story up next. And how several U.S. senators hope to give small businesses a boost so they can get on a fast track to start hiring again. Plus, does East Jefferson General Hospital help to keep people young? It appears to have worked for a married couple. I'm Sally Ann Roberts. I'll have that quiet hero report coming up.